Welcome back chess fans to week one of the United States Chess League. This is FM Mike Klein reporting from Istanbul. The Western Division got started on Wednesday. We had a little bit of everything. We had a mild upset, the season's first 4-0 shutout. We had a queen being traded for three pieces and a technical endgame to finish things off. Let's get started by looking at our first matchup. Our first matchup of the week was the Miami Sharks against the St. Louis Archbishops. All four boards were decisive in this really exciting encounter. Now, St. Louis is beginning this year without the number one player from last year, GM Hikaru Nakamura. On Wednesday, board three was a key game, where FM Eric Rodriguez initially passed up on the chance to trap Doug Eckert's queen. Then on the second chance, he finally found 44 rook on 8 to b4 to snare Eckert's queen and earn the full point. This gave the Sharks a great start to their season as they won 3-1. to one. Our second matchup was the San Francisco Mechanics, who were very heavy favorites against the Carolina Cobras. Now, the two cities both had gold rushes in the year 1849, but that's about all they have in common these days. San Francisco had a two-GM lineup in Week 1, whereas Carolina does not have any GMs at all on the roster. It looked for a while like the Carolina Cobras would score the full upset until GM Jesse Cry on board two was able to swindle Duke University sophomore FM Casa Corley. It looked like Corley was on the way to holding the draw until Cry's night fork took the full point. The night fork allowed Cry to pull his team equal and the match ended in a 2-2 tie. Match three had the LA Vibe face off against the Arizona Scorpions who went with a triple IM lineup. The Scorpions were able to get two and a half out of three from their IMs, including on board one, when IM Mackenzie Molnar beat Andronik Matkosian. Three pieces can often overpower a queen, but here the openness of the position gives the queen the real power. Matkosian eventually tripped up with 36 rook c5, allowing the simple queen takes d4 check, since the other knight is pinned to the king. The Vi player resigned immediately because after king e1, queen d2 check wins the other knight, or King F1, Queen D1 does the same. The final score was 3-1 to Arizona. The biggest rout of the night came in our final matchup, as the Dallas Destiny blanked the punchless Seattle Sluggers, who were without their top board, GM Verujan Akobian, who was in Istanbul representing the U.S. Olympic team. Seattle looked like they might salvage a half point on board one, until GM Christian Chirilis' lone knight was able to squeak into the black position. FM Constant Kozianu resigned rather than wait for the rare winning continuation, 52 Knight A8, putting the Knight in the corner and winning the B pawn and it breaking through. That wraps up week one of the United States Chess League. Only five of the 16 teams were able to get their first win. The rest will go for it in week two, where we will have East versus West, the first of three interdivisional matchups. Thanks again for watching the highlights of week one. We want to thank our sponsors, the Internet Chess Club, Chess.com, and PokerStars.